Where do you want me to look? Fantastic. <laughs> you like, you can do whatever you want, you're in the lead. How Yay. about it? Um, no, I mean, I'm thrilled with Blackie. He's notoriously very lazy. He doesn't look it, but he's, um, yeah, I was, I was pretty ready to have a walk in there. But, um, but no, he's a good boy, and it's just about managing his warm-up and making sure we don't run out of energy, really. It's like the whole week is just conserving energy. Um, but I thought he really tried, and he, he knows this ring now, so he lights up in there, and, you know, he loves to perform. So it's, um, yeah, I'm proud of him. There are bits that could have been ridden better by me, but, you know, Blackie tried really hard. He just gets better every year. Does the new test suit him, do you think? Um, it was better than I expected. Um, we've been working hard on it. I have been practicing a lot of the movements, and um, I think sometimes maybe the previous test was probably better for him, but he scored better than he did last year, I think. So, um, so yeah, it's it definitely takes some learning when you don't know the test, but I spent a long time watching everyone yesterday, which was lucky for me, and it's nice and cool this morning. That suits him better, too, so, yeah. Uh, it's going to be hot tomorrow, and what about the course? I mean, I think the course is tough. I, I'm, I'll definitely be doing an option at the first combination just because that, that sort of question wouldn't suit him early on, um, and I know my horse. Uh, I think the heat, yeah, it's going to be hot. I'm hoping the real heat won't hit us till the late afternoon, so I think we'll keep our fingers crossed. But on the plus side, we shouldn't have deep ground, which will definitely be better for my horse, I think. So we'll take that. The last time he ran here, it was torrential rain, and he was four from the end, and the ground is like this. So I think, I think from that side, we're, we're looking forward to it. And... He's in the shape of his life, and yeah, okay, I'm just looking forward to getting out there. Great, well done, thank thanks. Thanks. Um, and I noticed you're in your pony club pin. What does it feel like to represent pony club here? Obviously, we have a lot of pony clubbers, but you know. Okay. Yeah. Your signature. No, like I'm, I'm a proud ex pony clubber, and I'm, I pony club got me into eventing. You know, I was trying to find my way, and the minute I went to pony club and jumped my first solid fence, I was like, that's it, I'm an eventer. <laughs> so, um, and I, I actually came to the inaugural CCI four star here in 1998, and walked the course with Jimmy Walford and I was like this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do so it's, it's always an honor to be at Rolex you know each time I'm here it's it's a pleasure yeah and what were you doing before you did eventing uh well I just played at hunter jumpers but it really wasn't for me so and I never had a flash pony so it was kind of me out there on at least quarter horse which as we all know isn't going to win anything so um but but yeah I mean this is this is definitely where where I'm, I'm happiest and um, yeah, I just, just enjoy everything about eventing since so it's a pleasure to be here. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.